Hello again everyone, this is John Anglund with BestPriceNutrition.com. Uh, today we're going to be re reviewing Cellucor Super HD. It's the fat burner from Cellucor. Uh, we get a lot of requests for reviews on it, so we're going to go ahead and run through it. Um, we'll run through the dose, ingredients, and we'll give you guys some feedback on what the ingredients do. Sometimes with fat burners and stuff it's a little hard to glean what some of the ingredients are because there's a lot of um, you know, different accepted names for some common ingredients and stuff, so hopefully we can clear that up for you guys. So. Uh, Glenn, let's go ahead and go through right away. We have caffeine at 160 milligrams. You know, to, her one capsule, by the way, is the serving size. Yes. So it's a pretty concentrated um, pill. You know, you're going to read some are going to be two, take three, take four. Mm -hmm. This is one capsule is, is the recommended serving. Maybe take it up to two is what you know is recommended in one sitting. So maybe one or two in the morning, you know, one or two in the uh, evening, depending upon your tolerance. So 160. Yeah, 160 years. milligram. That's about two cups of coffee, or uh, depending on the size of the coffee drink. So about two cups of coffee. So it's a pretty good dose. Something you'll definitely feel, as long you know, depending on your own tolerance of caffeine. Um, next is N-acetyl L tyrosine at 150 milligrams. Um, it's so said to be a more soluble, or, or I should say, water soluble form of tyrosine, meaning that it can absorb better. Um, some of that's still untrue. That they found that tyrosine by itself. Yeah, there's some there's some healthy debate there as to which way to get your tyrosine levels up, but um, tyrosine, you know, main effect is it can increase dopamine, mm -hmm. which helps, you know, with a lot of cognitive function, can help with motivation, things like that. So either way, it's it's a way to increase tyrosine, which can lead to make you feel better, more energy, things like that. So, and the next is uh, tooth club moss. Um, it's also just a source of huperzine A. Um, huperzine A is is it can increase the uh, amount of acetylcholine in the body, and acetylcholine uh, is a chemical that our nerves use to sort of uh, communicate with the brain and muscle and things like that. It's more like cognitive function yeah. and stuff. And if you were to look it up on like a lot of the medical journals, a lot of the research is done with Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease and things yeah. like that. So um, the results are mixed. You know, some say good, some say um, they want to see more results. So it, it does seem to have some decent evidence that it can really help with cognitive function. So and why that's important with the fat burners because you know sometimes you're dieting yeah. and you need that extra help to focus and things like that. Plus, some part of the idea is if you feel better, mm -hmm. you're less likely to kind of cheat on your diet and stuff like that. So there's some you know positive things that can come out of that. Mm -hmm. um, next ingredient, Glenn? Next is their Super HD Thermal Sculpting Blend. And the first part of that is something called IFAS 50. Um, it's a blend of three herbs. Uh, Camellia sinensis, or sinensis, which is green tea. Uh, it can be green tea, white tea, or oolong tea, but in the case of this, I, I went to the manufacturing website and it did say green tea. So yeah, I think it's however they harvest the leaves, yeah. and I think what really changes the level of oxidation as to what type of tea you're going to get, if I'm not mistaken. We're not um, tea experts, but that's specific, and we know the benefits of green tea. Yeah, yeah. Some antioxidant effects can be a source of caffeine, um, and, and it, can, it can actually help with fat burning. There are some pretty good research out there demonstrating that. Mm -hmm. So, And we don't know the exact amount, as Glenn said. This is a blend, and the names he read you are trademark names. So yes. um, we're, gonna, we're giving you the specific ingredients uh, on those. So what's the second one? Is that tuber, uh, fleece? tuber fleece flower root extract and Chinese mistletoe stem extract. Well, the significance of the three being that it's part of the IFAST 3 is it's supposed to, um, they are considered uh, fatty acid synthase inhibitors, meaning that it can inhibit the production and storage of fat or body fat more so. Um, what I, I looked for research of this, specifically at the company that makes the IFAS 350, or excuse me, IFAS 50, um, they didn't cite any resources or any specific studies. Um, what I did find is they recommend 250 milligrams once to twice per day um, as their serving size. So on here, this whole blend, because there's other ingredients we're going to get through, is 253 milligrams. So we don't know exactly how much you're getting because of the proprietary blend. I'd venture to guess that like, you're not getting 250 milligrams of that because there's about six. So if you took the two capsules or the two capsules for the day, you probably would reach it, but you may. Yeah. Sure, so. okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, and then next after that is going to be the rhodiola rosea Rhodiola root extract, rosea. which is mainly to you know reduce cortisol levels. Mm -hmm. Cortisol blockers, kind of the idea. Um, it's an adaptogenic yeah. herb, meaning that can help bring your body back or to homeostasis. If, if, off. Yeah, and there's some conflicting evidence on that one. You know, there was some positive stuff initially when it came out, and there's been some been out with some skepticism. So it's it's there. Um, what's next? Next is amla fruit extract. Um, it's a source of vitamin C. There's some human evidence of it being uh, or having cholesterol lowering properties. Um, so 
source of antioxidants or some vitamin C. A dandelion root extract. Now, the dandelion is going to be in there because it's a diuretic, mm -hmm. so it can inhibit it inhibits ADH, anti-diuretic hormone. So basically, your bladder is going to fill up faster. You're going to pull water out of your body faster. So um, some people want that from their fat burners, not mm -hmm. just from the caffeine. You know, the caffeine green tea that's going to have that effect as well, because they want to dry out. They want to pull that water out of the body to look more vascular and mm -hmm. things like that. So um, that's that's a positive. I think a lot of people look for that. I think that's one of the big things when. People are taking a fat burner, they, they like that effect. So. It's an additional leaning out of Sure. Yeah. Uh, next we've got... Um, Yohimbi? Yohimbi. Um, Yohimbi is uh, popular in a lot of fat burners. It, it, it basically works on different receptor or receptors in the body, and it's said to target uh, these receptors in belly fat, more importantly. Um, there's a lot of conflicting evidence uh, with Yohimbi. Um, there's a lot of yo evidence to show it can help with um, like erectile dysfunction and, and things like that in males. Yeah. And some of that is purported because yeah, exactly. we don't, you know, not everyone comes out and admits that they're having those troubles and then, oh, I took that and got it worked, you know. So, so when you read through some of those studies, you gotta, you gotta make sure that they're actually, uh, you know, measuring, I guess. Not, not, not that kind of measuring, but you know, yeah. checking. So, um, so libido enhancement sometimes yeah. isn't the easiest thing to measure, you know. Exactly. So yeah. that it's, you know. Oh yeah, I feel great. You know, you know, you know, so, and then uh, also uh, just skipping the ingredient, there's something called raw wolfia extract, or it's also known as raw wolcine, which is considered an isomer or analog of yohim mm -hmm. yohimbine. Um, alpha yohimbine. Alpha yeah. yohimbine is also yeah. considered. Um, it, it's it's in here to give also the effects of yohimbine, but some people uh, get side effects from yohimbine. Um, this may be an alternative without the side effects. It's something that I actually have tried myself. You can buy get lots of side effects in terms of uh, jitters, cold sweats, things like that. Whereas with the alpha you I didn't get that. But not everybody gets that. I, you know, and, then, and it's and dose dependent dose too. Dependent. I think that mm -hmm. depends as well. And um, I think the alpha you if I remember correctly, um, I forgot to check that out. I think it's almost counterintuitive. But basically, what it does is it frees up a receptor, which then inhibits. Um, or it, it causes lipolysis basically because there's a receptor that if it gets bound up it then um, inhibits your body from putting fat in the bloodstream to be used for energy whereas this has the opposite effect. So that's the idea. Um, as Glenn said, sometimes it's named a little differently because, you know, that's it, it's so just many common. Many yeah. And then we have red pepper extract which is a source of capsaicin. So Yeah, it's, it's trademarked under Capsimax. Is, is what Thermogenic I effect yeah. is what you're going to get. So it's going to create heat in the body. That's the idea with that. Um, so that's, that's a, lot, a fair amount of products, and there's some evidence that shows that that can help with burning fat, the thermogenic effects. So, and lastly, we've got evodiamine, um, sort of um, has some effect like um, the capsicum or the red pepper extract. Um, and but the problem is a lot of the studies were done on rats, so there's real not a lot of human evidence on it. But those those studies that were done have shown some promise. So we'd like to see some human studies on the mm -hmm. So overall, those are the ingredients that make up this fat burner. Um, if you feel it, you're probably going to get a pretty good buzz. Uh, at least I would from one cap. So it's a pretty significant dose of stimulant. So um, that's good. I mean, and as far as dosing, you know, assess tolerance. You know, for some people, I could be starting with one per day and then maybe one in the morning, one in the afternoon, don't take it too close to bedtime, you'll be up all night and mm -hmm. you know you don't need that, especially if you're not used to stimulants. And then you can work your way up, you know, they do give you a chart on the um, bottle, but you know, that's dependent upon your tolerance, your body weight, there's a lot of variables, so it's kind of hard to do a one size fits all. So start out light and then kind of move up from there and see, see where you go. You know, if you take too much, you know, you're going to have to throw up or let it wear off, whereas <laughs> if you take too little, you can always take more. So, yeah, exactly. um, so kind of stick with that dosing protocol and like we said, assess tolerance. So hopefully we answered all your questions on it. Um, if you have any others, please post them in the comments section of the video or the blog. We're happy to answer. Um, also check us out at facebook.com slash bestpricenutrition. And thank you for watching. Thank you.